All right, boys and girls, here's another thing that you can do, maker um, craft. As you see, we've got our newspaper, not newspaper, sorry, wrapping paper flipped over. So we've got this blank canvas. You can get toilet paper rolls. Now this is just our first craft with toilet paper rolls. I'm sure we can come up with several more. And this one's off of a bandage, but it's still like a tube. All right, so you can use these to trace. Ellie traced hers a few minutes ago. You can trace, use these to trace, and they can make cute little bunnies. Or you can try painting. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do painting. Okay, so if you don't have paint at home, Ellie thought of a really cool idea yesterday. Um, when she got some old fingernail polish that she didn't use anymore, to use it to paint, we did some rocks. We painted rocks, which is another thing you could do while you're um, on at home. But we're gonna, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it with paint. So you just get some paint. You've got a paintbrush, or you can use Q-tips. If you don't have, um, if you don't have access to a paintbrush, you can always use Q-tips. All right. And let's see. I'm gonna kind of set this up here. Alright, let's see, you're gonna stay put. I think it will. Okay, so you're gonna take your toilet paper tube. Let's see, there we go. And you're just gonna paint around the rim. Okay, and then push it down on the paper. It'll make like a little circle. Then you're gonna do the same thing for the bunny ears. And I've kind of squished this one. Let's see, there we go. So it looks like a bunny ear. And you're gonna just paint. And again, you can do this with fingernail polish. If you had fingernail polish, if your parent doesn't, doesn't mind you using some fingernail polish, some old ones, it works as well. All right, and so I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it there. Do the same thing. Oops, a little close, aren't I? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna paint the rim here. Same thing. I'm gonna put a generous, generous amount of paint on your ear. Oops, there goes the wind. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> All right, and then you're just gonna that press it again. Cool. Okay. Oh my and Mommy, get the first one. yes. And so now I've got kind of a, a big ear bunny. So you might say, well, how's that gonna be a bunny? Well. Then, of course, when it dries, you can draw a little nose, a little mouth, some whiskers. My paint's real not dried yet. Ears. All right, and so you could do little bunny faces, or if you could, you could make these dogs even. If you had the circle like this, and the ears going downward. You can make it like a dog. There's so many different things you could do with toilet, ta toilet paper tubes. So anyway, that's just our first little toilet paper uh, craft. You guys can do this on the other side of a wrapping paper, the blank side. Or if you have some construction paper, this would look really cool with white paint on maybe a green paper or a pink paper. Anyway, all right, well, signing off. Say bye, Ellie. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Ellie, go ahead. What were you going to show okay. us? So I draw, I can draw really well, and we're gonna, and we can draw. So we'll need a red, a purple, a, a pink, and a blue. Mm -hmm. So first we draw one, then we draw, then we draw this one like this, and. Then you make another hump in there, get a pink or a red, either one. Then you color the small one in. Um, if you want to do it a, a boy, you could either have the red or the blue. If you want to do it a girl, you could do this, the, a pink and a purple. So I'm going to start with a girl. And then we're going to draw that. Then draw a circle for the eyes. 